Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to create the sparks. Now in this video, we are going to see how to render the fire. So now we'll go to this out section. So if you click on this and here we can go to this out and now here we'll create a mantra node. So just take a mantra node. And now in order to render first, we need to create a camera. So just I will go to the object level. So just go to this object level and now we have to create the camera. So in order to create the camera here, we can click on this camera. So now if you want to create the camera on this view here, we need to control left click so that now it will create the camera on the same position. And now in order to change the positions of this camera, we can go to this camera tool and here make sure we need to lock this thing. So what the thing is, whenever we change the angle, it will change the positions of the camera tool. So after setting this angle, uh, now just we'll unlock this camera so that now by mistake we will not able to change the positions of the camera here. So if you want to go to the camera view, now if you click on this and if you click on this camera, now it will go to the camera view here. So now what the thing is we need to apply the materials for this file in order to render in mantra. So if you go to this geometry and now we need to create the materials for this uh, file here. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called pyro -pick volume. So select this node and we need to connect after this here and enable this. And now we need to go to the settings. So if you select this and now here you can see it has been assigned the material and also we don't want this smoke. So just I will disable the smoke and we'll go to the fire. And now we will enable this fire here. So we got this shader. So we can reverse our fire ramp. So here you can see there is an option like reverse. So we can select this. So after that, uh, we need to go to this binding option. So after going into the binding option, if you open this fire, now here we have the intensity volume set it to like temperature. We need to change it to like flame. So now we will get the actual flame material and for color volume, we need to select it to flame and now the intensity of the fire is more. So we need to decrease that. So we need to go to this fire tab and we can see there is an option like intensity scale. Just we need to decrease the intensity and also just we'll adjust the ramp here. So just uh, let's say we'll set. Okay. So now we got actual flame look. So if you want to increase, just we can increase this. And now I will set the display flag to this match here. And now we need to render this once. So in order to do that, we need to go to this render view and here we need to change the camera. So we have created one camera. So we need to select that. So object cam one and also here the render node has been set to mantra and now we need to click on this render so that we can render the file here. So just we can click on this render. And now the fire has been rendered. We got this nice flame. And now what the thing is the spark shader is not correct. Uh, so we need to adjust this. So we need to go to this like matnet. So double click. So here, if you select this node here, I will change the base color to white. So now we are getting that spark render here. And also here we have an option called interactive means like whenever we change like any settings automatically, it will start render. So if you don't want to do that, we can click on this. So we can change the values and later we can click on this render. And now we need to go to this mantra node. So just we will select this and we'll go out and we'll select this mantra node. And here we will select the option like value frame range to render frame range. And we need to change the render engine. So just we need to go to this render option. And after that here, you can see there is a render engine. So instead of ray tracing, we need to select this physically based rendering. And also if you want to adjust this noise, we can change the uh, sample like pixel samples here. So at present the render is good. And here, if you go to this image and we can change the location where you want to save this. Uh, so for example, now we'll change the location. So we'll just select this. So we'll create a new folder like file render. This I will click on this and we'll give the file name here. So let's say we'll give the name called like file underscore dollar f dot exr format. So the dollar f is nothing but the sequence. So we need to specify this dollar f and dot exr and click on accept. And now we have changed the location. So that's it. After this setting the location, we need to click on this render to this so that it will start render from the first frame to 240 frame. So now we will see how to render this fire by using the karma node. Uh, so first we'll go to the object node and just we'll go inside this geometry. So we'll create a null for this fire. Uh, so select this and just we'll type a null and just we can name it as like fire and we need to create a, another null for this um, sparks here. So select this and drag and just we need to take an another null and just we will name it as like sparks. So now we'll go to the stage context. 
So select this and just we'll go to this stage. So now what the thing is, we need to import that fire and spark null node here. So in order to do that, we need to take a node called shop import. So select this and here we need to browse the null. So just we'll select this. Uh, you can see there is an option like shop path. So here we need to select that and we need to go to this geometry and we need to select that fire. And also we need to uh, add this spark. So just I will make an another copy of this and we will take and we'll select this spark here and just we'll click on this accept. So now we need to match this. So just we'll take and match now and we need to connect this and this here. So just I will enable this and also just I will go to the scene view here and now we'll name this uh, nodes here. So let's say we'll give it as an fire and also just we'll name it as an sparks so now we need to take a material library so just we'll take a material library and just go inside after connecting and here we need to take a node called principal shader so select this so if you select this here we can use the base color to like white and also we'll assign this material to spark so just we'll name it as an spark so for fire we need to take a node called pyro shader and we'll select this node and here uh, just we'll disable the smoke and we'll go to the fire and just we will enable the fire here so what the thing is we can copy the parameters which we have created previously that means like if you go to this like object mode and if you go into this geometry and now here we have created this volume so if you select this now we can copy this ramp here so in order to do that just we can right click on this we can click on this copy parameter so we need to go to this stage again so select this and into the material library and if you select this now and here you can see the ramp so just right click paste relative reference so now we'll get the same value. So we can set the intensity here. So let's say we'll put up to like 30 or something. And also we'll go to these bindings and here in this fire, we can adjust this flame. So just, we can type flame. So just we'll go to the material library. So select this and just we need to auto fill so that we can able to see what are the materials we have created and just we need to enable this now. And simple now we need to apply this, uh, material to this part so directly we can drag onto this and also we can drag this fire onto here now after that we need to add a karma node so select this just we'll add a karma node and just will connect here and we will enable this and also we need to change the uh, render to this karma so now we got this fire and spark and now we'll adjust the view so just i will select this camera and just i will set this angle here and also i want to change the background so just we can select this and we can go to the background we can put it to like dark and i have explained the camera settings in the previous videos i will put that link in the description so how to render using this karma so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next video